Hi, it's Tansel here. Now, when I coach people, mostly I coach people for remembering content uh, on what they read. So speed reading is very popular. And uh, sometimes uh, there are a lot of people that uh, have issues and troubles with it. Now, to be honest, speed reading is one of the more difficult techniques to really master and get um, get a hold of. So what I want to do in this video uh, is just show you uh, all the things to sort of counteract um, the issues and all the things that you can do to really improve your reading. Now, um, I've already given uh, some of the techniques in my previous video on speed reading. So if you want to get to the basics, uh, you can check that out. I'll, I'll leave a link below somehow. Um, but I think it's important that for those that have tried speed reading uh, to just go through some of these exercises just to you know get a better hold of your reading and um, not stress too much about it because it can be stressful <laughs> trying to read and get all that content in your head so especially with technical content so uh, I want to share some you know just just techniques with you uh, and you can try that out as well now there, there's so many things you can do but I just want to give you a few just to get started and you know maybe cover the other ones in another video and see how we go Cool. So the first thing that I want to mention is that when people speed read, they, they use the visual guide. So they read with their finger. And that's that's one technique that I mentioned. Now, the issue with that, uh, as I mentioned in the video, is you can go either too fast. So you end up um, not visualizing the content or you can go too slow and you visualize more content forward uh, for what you're reading. So you, know, you could be here. Uh, your brain's here reading, but your eyes are down here visualizing more content. So what you want to be able to do is get that speed right. Uh, one of the things that you can do to get that uh, speed right with your brain and the content is to adjust your reading speed, adjust your reading guide. So what that means is uh, go fast, right? So you can go fast uh, and then see if you can go slow from there as well so fast and slow fast and slow and keep adjusting as you're reading now the whole point of this is not so much to grab the content of what you're reading it's just to get the brain shift happening it's to get that comfort within uh, how you're reading with your guide so what i mean by comfort is that uh, with the content that you're reading your finger should essentially resemble um the speed that your brain is going at. So what that means is that if you're, you know, in between the sentence and you're visualizing that sentence fully rather than seeing what's forward or seeing what's back, then that's that's what you want to do. You don't want to read and then suddenly see what's here and read that uh, in your peripheral vision. So you want to go comfortably. And the best way to do that is to adjust your speed. So that's one thing you can do. And you can do it on multiple pages, not just on one page and off you go. Because speed reading is one of those skills where the more you practice, the better you get at it. But you have to practice in the effective way. You can't just keep doing things the wrong way and practicing correctly because you'll do more of that as well. So adjusting your speed uh, to get to a comfort level. And how would you know when you're at that comfort level? Um, it's when you start forgetting that your finger's there. <laughs> when you start forgetting that, hang on, I'm actually using my guide. Um, and the, the reason why you'd forget is you're entrenched in the content. You start really seeing the content now instead of worrying about your finger. So that's one method uh, you can try out. Just a variable adjustment of speed for your finger. The next one is, it's, it's a really uh, counterproductive, counterintuitive way of doing it, but it works. And it's something that I've learned uh, in the workshops that I've done in the past as well, which has been fantastic. And it's reading five seconds per page, right? Now you're probably thinking, how could you read five seconds a page? Well, it's not really reading. What you're doing is you're going through a page, you put your finger in the middle of the page and you're just going down for five seconds. So what that does, it allows your brain to recognize any images or any goings on on that page. You're not recognizing word by word, you're just going through and recognizing what's on that page. All right? So you can do five seconds a page, you can do 30, 40 pages, it won't take you very long. So you can do a whole chapter doing that. And what you'd find through that exercise, you develop your visual capability. Right, And this is really good to do, especially for technical content, because technical content, what that is, is just content that's not encoded straight away. Right? What I mean by encoded is you've got a technical word there, you haven't got an image for it. 
right? You haven't got an image or you read something, a sentence that's quite technical and it takes you a few seconds or maybe even longer to try and get an image out of that, right? So that's what I mean by uh, abstract, technical. And what you want to be able to do is you want to grab that technical content or the word and you want to see an image from that. And so that's what the encoding is. So to be able to go five seconds a page uh, will help you uh, it'll force you to try and visualize what's in there. And the more you do that, the more you visualize, when you go back to your normal reading, guess what? Your visualization would improve and you'll enhance that reading, um, hence resulting in better comprehension, which is what you want. You don't necessarily want to read fast. I mean, what's the point of reading fast if you're not going to get it, right? So you want to be able to work on your visual skills, your visualization skills, because you're encoding that content. So that, that that's another way. And the, the final way I want to really talk about is you want to be able to, um, we, we've talked about variable speed, we've talked about five seconds a page. The other one is to read really, really slow, right? slow reading. Now, a lot of people think, hang on, but speed reading, why, why would you want to read slow? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, remember, we're, we're trying to improve our encoding. We're trying to improve the way that we uh, extract content. So how slow reading works is you can still use your guide. You can still use your chunking um, if you uh, watched the previous video on what chunking was. So the whole idea there is as you're reading a sentence, read it really slow, but visualize in great detail what's going on. So if the sentence says, um, you know, Johnny went to the zoo, right? You don't just picture one person going to the zoo. You picture, okay, what does Johnny look like? Do I know a Johnny, right? Which zoo did he go to? You know, what did the zoo look like? What was in the zoo? What did he see? So all this you're bringing up and creating a massive story through reading really slow. Now it might take you maybe five minutes just to do one page or 10, 20 minutes just to do a couple of pages, right? That's how slow you should be able to do it. And so Again, this is to work on your visual capabilities. The first exercise is going through fast and working through visual capabilities. This exercise is going through really slow and building up that visual imagery. Because if you can build up the visual imagery, um, that's gonna help you with your comprehension. Because as you're reading normally, uh, or once you're doing the speed reading techniques, um, if you get faster and better, that means you're encoding a lot better and encoding a lot faster. Uh, and that's what you should be doing. So give that a try, go really, really slow. Uh, and you can do it for anything. Like <laughs> I actually give terms and conditions to my clients to use these exercises on, right? Because terms and conditions, we all know how boring and dry they are. But if you can really visualize those terms and conditions, you're gonna improve your comprehension from them, right? So three exercises. First one, variable speed. Second, five seconds a page. And third one, go really, really slow, right? And if you can do those three, uh, I can guarantee you that you'll start improving your reading. Uh, now, how often should you do it? Well, I always say to my clients, look, do it as much as you can. It's not about going through and doing five, 10 minutes every day. Uh, we, we have a lot of reading to do um, you know, during the day. It could be on your phone, it could be on the papers, could be online on the internet. There's always something to read. So you know, practice these skills, grab a book or grab a book that you just wanna practice speed reading on and start using all these skills because the more you do that, the better you'd get at it as well. Um, I've got one client that does rowing, you know, and he rows. I asked him, how often do you row? And he said, uh, you know, four days a week, plus we have the regatta on the weekend. That's, that's five days a week. I said, how hard do you train? He says, oh, we train pretty hard, you know, a couple of hours uh, every time. I said, well, how often do you do speed reading? And he said, oh, I've done it a couple of times. <laughs> so, you know, that couple of times in the month just doesn't cut it. You need to be able to work at it like it's a sport, like it's a, you know, um, you have to be committed to it like, you know, he was committed to his rowing. So think of it that way, get the commitment ready and uh, it, it won't take you long. Once you start training and once you start using these techniques effectively and working on them, you will see the results. So give that a go, any questions, just message me, go to my website, tanslali.com. You can contact me, you can, you know, post back, uh, you know, comments on this video. Um, you know, I'm more than happy to help. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next one.